Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my internet videos on tactics of the new Gene Stealers. Yes, thank you for watching. I got a special request from people who really wanted to know can I make Gene Stealers work? And if I can, how? And I've said yes. Uh, a lot of people trying to rain on my parade here. They still insist Tyranids suck, Tyranids are not competitive, Tyranids are going to die, blah, 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 blah. Probably people who don't play Tyranids. Let me tell you how to make Gene Steelers work and, uh, and to get people to stop raining on my parade. Broodlord. Broodlord is not a unit you buy anymore. It's a unit upgrade. Yes, that means every single gene stealer brood can have a brood lord for 60 points that's a monstrous creature for 60 points in every and in a troop choice army so that's it it's a scoring unit that infiltrates and outflanks and can take biomorphs wow and is psychic. Uh, the second part of this is the horror. In the horror, you force any unit as a malediction, not as a targeting attack, to make a leadership check for pinning, which makes you go to ground at negative two leadership. This has lots of com possibilities of combining with Shadow in the Warp and with Death Leapers, it's after me. It makes you a control army, especially against Harlequins, Dark Eldar, and Eldar, who like to dance around. This locks them down. It also locks down those hit-and-run, jumpy little Tau Crisis suits. Locks them down. Keeps them in place. 18 inches. Which means, well, if you have three to six... Gene Stealer broods with a brood lord that's gonna basically cover the whole table. Uh, you get a swarm lord as your general to uh, give you the plus one on your um, reserve rolls. Thank you. And that makes that better. You get an Aegis defense line, which A, gives cover to your Gene Stealers, and B, can give you a comms array so that you re roll infiltrating units, uh, no, I mean reserve units, and suddenly you have an army that can completely infiltrate and completely outflank and can horror people when they come in to make sure that they stay pinned so that the next turn they're only doing snapshots and they're not moving or charging or assaulting or running. I see lots of possibilities for that. Oh, and of course, each of your unit has a monstrous creature in it. With a lot of little creatures in it with very high initiative that you can use Lookout Sir rules on. And on top of that, you can give your Broodlord biomorphs like Regeneration or Acid Blood. To, uh, means either A, they get a wound back every turn on a 4 plus or acid blood, which means every time they take an unsaved wound, the unit that did the wound takes a strength 5 AP2 auto hit at the initiative that the wound happened, assuming you're faster than a broodlord, which not too many units are. Uh, I think that's I think that has a lot of possibilities to cause a lot of pain to enemy armies. Um, you can really just totally control the opposite army. Uh, which units move, which unit doesn't. You add in lictors, which are elite choices, and you can make them in groups of three so that they also infiltrate or or outflank. Um, I see, and of course, for your warlord, for your second warlord, uh, you can have a death leaper, which adds in a a what's it called? Oh, 
it's after me. Another D3 off of the leadership of probably the enemy's HQ. And on top of all this, it'll get Mind Eater. You'll get an extra plus two victory points for every character Death Leaper kills in a challenge. I look at the Tyranids, I mean, as at the Gene Stealers, Brood Lord, Lictors, Death Leaper as being the ultimate challenge army. They could easily wipe out every character in the game without even thinking about what the scenario is. And let's not forget Linebreaker, of course, with all infiltrating units. Uh, and taking table corners, let's not forget that. Gene Stealers are troops. They're a scoring unit. A scoring unit with a monstrous creature as an upgrade. Try to get them out of that corner. Especially if they can walk in on table sides. And of course you can give them toxin sacks. Making all of their already rending attacks now poison. Which means they will be able to re-roll all to wound rolls for everything that has a toughness equal to or less than their strength, which includes Space Marines. Wow. And every time you get a reroll, that's a chance of getting another six on your Rending Claws, which means forget about your uh, feel no pain rules. Wow. Um, just wow. I think they're very, very lots, very competitive, lots of possibilities with them. I like them. I think they get a big thumbs up. I think it would be great for an infiltrating uh, disruption type of army, and people should really look into it. So that's my second part update on the Gene Stalers and special tactics just for them. I hope you enjoy the videos and you keep warning, uh, looking and watching and sending me your questions on other tactics for units that people call useless. Thanks again for watching.